Hello friends, I am Shayantoni. Welcome to my channel SRA Creative Partner. From this video, I am going to start a series of crochet learning classes. It will cover from the very basic level up to the advanced level. And I am assuring you, after watching the entire series, you will be the master of crochet work. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss with you the introduction of crochet hooks, the thread holding methods and the basic chain making process. So, let's start. Crochet hooks are looks like this. It comes with various sizes. It is very important to choose a proper crochet hook for any particular project. But when you are at the beginner's level, it is a bit difficult to guess which crochet hooks goes with which project. Let me make it simpler for you. From 4.5 mm to up 6 mm crochet hooks are perfect for any kind of woolen project. Sweater, muffler, scarves, socks, gloves, whatever you want to make with regular oleos. The broader crochet hooks are for thicker oleos and the smaller crochet hooks are for cutter oleos. But the use of broader crochet hooks and the smaller crochet hooks I will demonstrate to you at the intermediate and the advanced level classes. From now on, at the beginner's level classes, I will demonstrate to you with the regular crochet hooks. Here I am using 5 mm crochet hooks. Let me show you how to hold the thread. Some people hold the thread only in this way. Some people hold the thread in this way. But in both cases, especially when you are at the beginner's level and you don't have proper balance with the ears and the hooks, it is a bit difficult to control the tension of the thread. Let me show you how to hold the thread like a pro. It is very simple. For this, you need to use this two finger. Like sewing machine, this finger will act as the thread pulling lever and this finger will act as the tension controlling lever. Let me show you how does it work. Hold the thread in this way. Now wrap over the finger. Pull it up over this finger and hold the project. It is so simple. Let's do it one more time. Hold the thread. Wrap over the finger. Pull up the thread. Wrap over this finger and hold the thread. It is very simple. You just need to keep practice this. Now, I am going to show you basic chain making process. For this, you first need to make a small simple loop. A small simple loop like this. Now hold the thread as I have demonstrated to you. Grab your hook. Insert the hook through the loop. Now yarn over. Hold the thread. Pull through the loop. Congratulations! You have made your first chain. Let's make some more. Yarn over. Hold the thread. Pull through the chain. Yarn over, hold the thread, pull through the chain. Yarn over, hold the thread, pull through the chain. Yarn over, hold the thread, pull through the chain. Yarn over, hold the thread, pull through the chain. 
your chains will look like this. It is very simple to do. You just need to keep practicing. If you liked my video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel. On my upcoming videos, I will going to demonstrate you another two most important weaving process. The single crocheting process and the double crocheting process. Till then, keep practicing, stay blessed, stay tuned. Thank you very much.